Hi guys, I'm Baishu and I'm so excited to share this video with you because it is a really big moment in my life. I became a homeowner for the very, very first time. So the last couple of months have been super hectic as we've been finalizing the purchase of the property, everything to do with moving out of our old apartment into this new apartment. In this video, I want to share with everyone what the apartment looks like. So I'll be giving you an empty apartment tour. I'll also be sharing with you the price that we paid for this apartment and if you're considering buying a place in Munich or around Munich maybe this gives you a little bit of information about the prices that you can expect and the condition of the properties that you would find in general. I'll also be sharing at the end of this video other costs associated with purchasing a place. So there's a lot of other costs that are involved in this transaction. I think when people buy a property they often just think about how much the asking price for the property is but you don't necessarily take into consideration like taxes you have to pay, the land rate registry fees, the notary fees, the estate agent fees, and these are not insignificant sums of money. I was a little bit naive in my search in the beginning, but now that I've gone through the process myself, I'm a little bit less naive and a lot more poor, so I'll share those numbers with you too. So this property is on the top floor of a three level house. The house is split into five units. You have two units on the ground floor with gardens, two units on the first floor and one unit on the top. And this is where we are. On the top level, we have two living rooms, three bedrooms, one bathroom, one toilet, a small kitchen, three balconies, two outdoor parking spaces, one indoor parking space, and a room in the basement for storage. So the total surface area for this apartment is 220 square meters. However, because it is a top floor apartment with a lot of area under the roof, not all of it gets counted. So officially, this apartment is 129 square meters. So here is the empty apartment tour. Here we have the entryway with some shelves conveniently located behind the door so that I can turn it into a shoe cupboard in the future. This door leads to the first room in the flat, which is a small toilet. There's a lot of space under the roof, which I'm hoping to convert into a laundry and storage space. And now, if you turn your eyes to the right, you'll see the main living room. I love this room. I love the high ceilings. I love the huge windows and doors, which are southeast facing, so it gets so, so much light during the day. And it opens up to the largest balcony in the apartment so it's perfect for having some like barbecue and some grilling in the afternoons there is also a fireplace at the other end of this room nice here i am saying goodbye to the yellow walls and radiators because they are not staying on the left hand side of the fireplace is a small kitchen there's a glass door which I can pull out if I ever start cooking so I can keep the smells in and separate from the living room which is really handy. You can see the house next door through the window but they're quite far away so I don't really worry about them overlooking the apartment. Now opposite the kitchen is the smallest bedroom which we turn into an office space. And now we go into the second living slash dining room. So the center of this room has a really high ceiling, but it slopes off towards the edges. So in this corner, there's a TV connection and we're planning to turn this into a really cozy TV corner with a super large cushy sofa that you can just like die on. On the other side, we're gonna put a big long dining table that can sit maybe six people. On this wall next to the dining table, we're planning to build a small kitchen, mostly for coffee and tea making because like our existing kitchen is quite small and this will provide some extra storage as well. From this room you can access another balcony and now on the other side of the apartment this is where the bedrooms are. Here is a bedroom which we will make into a guest room slash second office because it has a low ceiling and not as much daylight as the other rooms. And here is the main bedroom. There are windows on both sides of the room, a really funky circular window which somehow I have to incorporate into the design and a door that leads to the third balcony. Between these two doors are some built-in wardrobes which is very spacious but I don't really like the position of so we're going to remove Move that. Next to the bedroom is the bathroom. It has a large bathtub, a smallish shower, a toilet, a sink and a mirror that is far too high for me. 
And now if I leave the apartment and take the stairs to go down, we come to the basement, which is like the perfect place for storing things you don't want but can't be bothered to sell and feel too guilty to throw away. Now, how much did this cost? Ugh, thinking about this number makes me want to cry. It costed us 870,000 euros. I don't know how I'm gonna ever make this amount of money. Anyway, there are a lot of other costs involved in the purchase of this property. So a rule of thumb, the transaction cost for buying a property in Bavaria is approximately 5.5% of the purchase price, excluding real estate agent commission. So for us, the notary fees were 8,000 euros. And in total, we paid the real estate agent 30,000 euros. <laughs> the real estate transfer tax that we had to pay was 29,000 euros. And on top of this, we paid 4,000 euros in land registry fees. Uh, I have to tell you, the moment that money left my bank account, I had a little breakdown inside. <laughs> Hopefully all this information is useful. If it's not useful, at least I hope it's interesting. <laughs> So thank you very much for watching this video. If you're interested to see how I end up refurbishing this place on a very limited budget, feel free to subscribe. And now I must leave you so I can do some work, so I can make some money, so I can pay off this mortgage. Bye.